Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. We're out here at a little place called Haystack right off 96 uh, Highway in 97. California. 97? Highway, Highway 97 in California. Okay, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Cut! <laughs> Blooper reel. <laughs> Alright, everybody back in the reel. Highway right. 97. Haystack. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. We're, uh, we're out here up Highway 97 at a little place called Haystack. We're going to go for a little hike and uh, check out some of the volcanic formations and stuff like that. Show you guys a little different terrain. This county is so super diverse that uh, you guys are going to get a, a real treat in that we can show you just about every kind of terrain in the world here damn near except for now uh, there there is kind of some jungle <laughs> but we, we've got a little bit of everything and uh, in the background you can see Mount Shasta there but she's kind of hiding today so we'll try to get a better shot of it later I know I haven't even shown the mountain yet here on Shasta Valley Outdoor but it's kind of a shame but uh, without further ado we're going to get to walking and we'll see you guys further up the trail all right guys, so this is Haystack, and we're gonna be going for a little hike out in here in the high desert, and uh, we'll see you guys further up there. It's gonna be a little windy in this shot, but I wanted to show you that's Lake Shastina from the complete opposite side of the county I showed it to you from the other time. Those mountains on the other side is where we were camping the other night. And here's where we're heading. There you can see off over to Sheep Rock and into that country. Pretty little high desert hike we're on. Okay guys. Resolution might be a little pixelated. I've got it zoomed all the way in so we can get a good picture of that valley. Welcome to the high desert. I grew up in country like this. Not everybody likes it, but it's got its own beauty. Everybody, we're up a little higher, just getting a little sick, catching our breath, and uh, this is a really pretty little area. That's the county cinder pit over there that you saw. That's not Martian soil. And, uh, get a little view of the mountains here on the other side of the county. There comes Robbie and Q. I believe we are just almost to the peak, folks. In fact, there goes Jack. He's gonna make it to the top already. Got a good spot here. Somebody's already built us a little fire ring. I think we're gonna have us a hamburger right here. You can see almost the, the whole thing from here. You'll see it better when, uh, when we get to the top of uh, that old girl down the road. There it is, folks. Where are you hiding at, Q? There he is. We're all up here at the top. Sorry about the wind, guys, but I think it's well worth it, huh? Yeah, we ain't staying here a week. I think we got enough. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's our firewood right there. <laughs> you burn enough, by William. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go look for a nice. The debate is making suggestions. <laughs> Let's get some wood cut up. I'm gonna go look for. Uh... So if Petey can build this fire out here, and then I'll just rake coals into the thing here once we got good coals. Yeah. And I'm just building us our little, a little burger frying area. Pure you know, I, I got a, I got a pack pan. You know, we, we could have brought that. Pack pan is not bushcraft, Robbie. <laughs> right. I got to take 
Boy Scout. Thing we are, there, we are crafting of the bush today. Mine's, uh, God, I want to say NSR or something like that. I can't remember who makes it. MSR? Maybe MSR. MSR. I can't remember. That's NSR not, NSR makes holsters. That's not Uber leaving. No. <laughs> it's also not homemade. It also probably didn't cost 40 bucks. You're going to start using that as a term now, aren't you? It's like Shamad. Yeah. Uber leaving. Uber leaving. It actually, I think it means like modern bushcraft or something. Yeah. Uber, Uber leaving. Doesn't Uber mean super? Uh, Uber, I think, uh, means new. new. I'll ask Frank. He knows. I think it means new. I, 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 I have no idea. That part's not going to go in the video because I'm just talking out loud. <laughs> but I think it. It's trying. It's going. It's going. It just keeps going. Now. Everything's a little. Boring. It's a going. It's going. Go. That wind keeps moving it out. There, there, there we go. Now we got action, boys. All right. This is another reason to bring whiskey when you hike. <laughs> it's gotta be, gotta be like 151 to burn. Right? Whiskey will burn. It's gotta be 80. Is that proper proper 12 proof, we're talking about? <laughs> Some proper 12. It's gotta be 80 proof. It's gotta be proper 12. Yeah, you, you can't even get 151 in California anymore. You don't want it? Yeah. You can get Everclear, but it's not. You, you can't get anything over like 120, I think, in California is what it is. Is that what it is? I think so. Yeah, because they sell Everclear, but it's not the 180 like they used to. Come on, moist sticks. We need some hamburgers. They'll burn. They'll go. We're getting Stone Age. I mean, that's working. It's a family show, Rob. Yes. <laughs> Fudge. <clears throat> you have to get those beeps down. Why, why would you do this? I'm thinking, like, probably cavemen in minute this. That's the rock that broke, right? That's the one that broke and <laughs> fell down. And it doesn't quite have the perfect elevation. Whoever likes theirs well done, you're going to take their burger from that rock, I have a feeling. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, burgers on the grill. Let's see if I can't formulate us a special out of this here tinfoil. Yeah, it's going to be hot. I told you, you got to learn how to add the beeps. <laughs> no beeps. It's working good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm digging it. This is the first time I've done burgers on a rock before. I've done a steak on a rock one time. Yeah, a hamburger doesn't like to hold together that well. well these were pre-fashioned at the store, so. Uh, kinda, oh, kinda, so they're glued together? Kind of cheap. They probably got uh, opening oil. No, they're supposed to be. <laughs> these are supposed to be prime rib. Oh, really? Yeah. They smell good. These are supposed to be prime rib steak. They smell good. They smell killer. Right up my alley. Yeah, they smell good. There's a pack rat nest in there. I'm looking at this log in front of us. Oh. Did you ever tore up some of that? I have The punk wood? Everybody, our Neanderthal burgers are just about done. They cooked up real nice on them rocks. And uh, whenever you do something like this, make sure that uh, you use good dry rocks and take some time to dry your rocks out a little bit. Because uh, rocks can pop really hard and, and hurt you real bad. So you don't want moist rocks around your fire. Ash is uh, work good. the only seasoning I brought. <laughs> we got dirt too. <laughs> There's some sage. <laughs> right. Shave down some of that bark. A little sage rush. A little pine cone. A little pine cone. Got it. Thank you. Savoir faire. <laughs> Means knowing the right thing to say at the right time. There's one for you, there's one for you. Robbie? Oh. Oh. Take it. I see somebody <laughs> wants their bone toasted. Got oh, it. Works. <laughs> It ain't hurt none. Oh. <laughs> All right, leave the reflector rock. Robbie a bone. Coffee. You could toast them a little. Could toast them on them <laughs> rocks, really, if you wanted to. Good, I got mine in you there. A little pull, ash on it. Pull it off. And That's what I'm saying. Is, uh, a little well, butter next time, you know? Well, I was going to bring some, but it doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't always work out, man. Okay, give me a bun, boys. You want one of these? <laughs> I'm gonna throw mine on that rock with the burger fat for a minute. Sweet. Anybody that wants to is welcome to. No, I'm kinda hungry. Yeah, I was gonna say, I am kinda <laughs> hungry though. Who wants a burger? Robbie? Yeah, you're on that. 
Oh yeah. Prime rib burgers, boys. You didn't bring no ketchup? I didn't bring. I was gonna oh, throw man. the. I was gonna throw the barbecue sauce in the pack, but I was like. Oh, I was man. gonna bring some A1. Yeah, I, I, I forgot, guys. I forgot. That's all right. It's, we went Spartan today. It says we're outside doesn't mean we can't. You know, Oka boys. It's Easter. And happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. <laughs> we forgot to mention from the Dubose brothers and Generation Two over there. <laughs> happy Easter, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, I finally found a good day to show you a beautiful view of our old Mount Shasta. And there she is. There's a gravel pit down there. Or excuse me, it's a cinder pit. It's not Mars, that is a cinder pit. Lots of spring flowers today. Some fungi coming up. Those guys look poisonous though. Got a bunch of little yellow ones coming up everywhere. Got little patches of these guys everywhere. Pretty neat. I've been trying hard to find one of these little red guys. They seem to close up as soon as the sun hits them. Little bit early for the flowers. We found evidence of uh, little people here. We're not we're not sure what's going on here. You know we're we're part Irish and we're we're thinking we're thinking little people here. I don't know, or maybe just a kid playing GI Joes. I don't know, but yeah, it might just be you know, but little people, definitely little people. Mini foots, yeah, these are mini foots. All the way up that, thinking we saw a cave up here. And there'd be like maybe a mountain lion den or a cool coyote den or something. Anyway, it appears to just be a uh, a hippie camp of some sort. I think somebody was camping up here. Maybe intends to do so again. Looks like they got some firewood stashed. If this is your secret camp, man, sorry for sorry for giving away your ultra secret spot. But you can clearly see it like 200 yards from the highway. So maybe be a little better with your secret spot. Here guys, it looked really promising and cool. We thought we were going to show you a really sweet cave. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming with us. We really had a good time today. I hope you guys did too. Happy Easter to everybody out there. I hope you and your families had a really nice day. We certainly did. And uh, we're going to go home and spend some more time with some more family. So I hope you're doing the same. And like I said, happy Easter from all of us. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.